what you're going to have to bear patience regarding a few things may be they might be an asset or they might not be the prophet sallallahu tells us about the masjid that when you go to the masjid make sure there's no foul smell coming from you if you've eaten a, something strong eaten garlic you know garlic sauce is a condiment that a lot of us really enjoy when you're dipping the right thing in that sauce sorry for speaking about it just before we're opening our fast but it's one of those things and you dip it and what happens your mouth you don't realize you enjoyed it but you go to someone salama as you want to open your mouth and the person is like oh you saying salamu alaikum it's more like smell alaikum you know may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us allah tells us through the blessed lips of muhammad وسلم, that if you're coming to the masjid make sure you've gargled you've eaten onion or garlic or something strong if that is the case and it is what about if your perspiration is really you know on 99.9 .9, what would you have to do wallahi you would have to ensure that you're smelling good you know perfume or something decent or an underarm earlier on in the day so that when you come you're okay you're not harming people with your what you call a scent but they might call a stench and why i say that is because some people enjoy onion but they don't realize wow that was so good the next person doesn't think the same so we need to be so conscious of a smell a foul smell as believers imagine if you're harming them with your mouth with your words and physically how would that be don't you see that the blessed teachings of islam are such that we would be the biggest assets to those whom we interact with on a daily basis biggest assets if you pass me on the path by the will of allah i will ensure that somehow you have a pleasant experience may allah make us that way